rocking out, ready for this pre-release. Headed down to Hadley Mass for the, uh, I think it's Jay Blaze, it's John, Johnny Blaze Games, or uh, I don't know, Johnny Blaze runs it, but it's at X9 Games. And I'm ready for the pre-release, I'm looking for that Dawn Wings in the Cross, I'm just rocking out in my car, headed down there. Shouldn't be filming and driving, but you know. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah guys, we're looking for that Dawn Wings and Crosman today. We're hoping for better luck than we did last week, so hopefully we get it. And I will see you guys when we start opening cards. Have a good day. Hello, hello, friends. Debra Grabber here, and we're going to get into our pre release kit here. Oh, they made these ones harder. These ones are harder to open. There we go. Okay, I'm not the only one, so. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Plus, it's that. Yep. The pretty nice. And then. And we got packs here. And ah, we got the gum shoes promo. Not the best. But let's go ahead and see what evolution line they gave us. I mean, we may still get a good evolution line. So we did get the gum shoes. Sorry if the lighting's a little weird here. We got the Empoleon line again. So. Same deck we did last week, I think. And Electabuzz. And Gumshoes. Ah, oh, this is like the thing I did not want. Got the employee on last week. I kind of wanted the guard trump this week, but it's what happens. Go ahead and separate them into types. Water, electric, normal, trainer. I got four on Wow, with the Cynthia Reverse too, nice. So we got the four different pack arts here. What are you getting? Oh wow, nice. Let's go ahead and open up Giratina. Energy, we're gonna guess is metal. Now nah, we're gonna have to guess energies. We got Murkrow, Gibbo with the Ascension, Dewpider, Stunky, a Turtwig, another Gumshoes. Looks like we're playing Gumshoes. Shield on, Low Punny, Reverse Lucario, very nice. And then that rack we need with that water bubble. We're just gonna be trash everywhere. Okay, right. Dusk Meet in the Crowd. In fact, let's see what's in this one. Uh, that's a pretty good one, yeah. <laughs> Got Dialga next to us here. Oh, that's a dragon. So, we got a Chimjar, Pachirisu, Dadalo and Sanchu, Lolan Volpix, Bronzor, and a Skateboard, Luxio, Unit Energy, Reverse Rare Luxray, and Dialga GX. Very nice. Wow, there's a nice pull right there. Fume, bro. Go ahead and bust open another one. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. What, you gonna get something new and cheat it? Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, Leaf Energy. Kogan. Hey, Turtwig. Roselia. Gibble. Electabuzz. Shield on. Unidentified Fossil. I needed that last week. Cherum. A Baneeri. And Wash Rotom. The Rotomoto. Luckily we didn't get that as the pre-release thing this time. And last but not least, a Leafeon pack. Let's see what we get in this. Looks like we're starting off with a Magmar, something else we also wanted last week. Psychic Energy. We got the Magmar. Just kind of staying in there. Chimchar. I think we got like a bunch of Chimchars. These Sneasel, very cool. A Licky Licky, a Carnivine, 
gumshoes. A lot of gumshoes. Ancient crystal. A spirit tomb. Very nice. Awesome. We got the super boost energy. And this was a double pack. We got the Dawn Wings Necrozma. Finally. Awesome. Some very cool cards. So we got Dialga and Dawn Wings Necrozma. Hopefully we get some other stuff at the end. But we're going to go ahead and build the deck. And we'll see you guys later. Lola friends, we're back. We got three more packs at the end of this. Let's go ahead and move Leafy on for the last. Get some Dawn Wings open, see if we can get another Dawn Wings maybe. One, two, three, and energy. Okay, let's see what we get here. Water energy. We got Cherubi with that surprise attack. Pip Love, the Splatter, Snowbird's Ice Shark, Murkrow, a Gibble, Ascension, Her Ugly, Own the Place, people, Own the Place, Floatsip, a Missing Clover, Reverses a Rare Heatran, and a Shenotic Rare. Dust Main pack here. I was like I said, I was just worried you had to sit here and Ah, I dropped it. It's too, too slow here. Wow, I got loud here. Everybody's getting the next to the end of their packs. Let's see what we get here. One, two, three, energy. Give a climb on the back of chairs. Dark energy. We got Dewpider. Pip Love with the Peck. Skaroopy. Stunky. Young Ghost. And Order Pad. Monferno. Unidentified fossil reverse is that gibble and our rare is a glaceon. Nice. We'll leave that right down there. That's a pretty card. So much better than the last pre release. One, two, three. Energy. Hey, let's see what we get here at the end. We get an electric energy. We got another gibble. He's hiding in his rocks. Rosalia, Chimchar, a Skaroopy, Young Goose, a Palpad, Stone Tank, Gardena, Reverses Execute, and our rare. And the final pack is a Weavile Hollow, Evil a Domination. Attack does 50 damage for each of your opponents with abilities. Very cool. That's going to be a rogue for sure. So very cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to the draft now, guys. And I, whatever I get at the end of that, I'll let you guys know that too. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Driver. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Alola, friends. Dapper Driver here one more time, just to go over the last bit of stuff that we ended up uh, pulling from the uh, the pre-release. Is this the deck? I think it is. It is. So that was our final deck right there, or most of it at least. And uh, we ended up, we went to two pre-releases and then one draft. So this is the draft.deck here. Uh, we ended up having to play Empoleon again in that, uh, in that pre-release. Is this the old one or the new one? This is kind of all the bulk from the weekend. Yeah, we ended up getting a lot of Magnet Zones that we didn't play, which is my mistake. Um, so the last deck I played... Um, so, in the last one, we ended up pulling a Full Art Mars. I guess I should show you that first. That was what I pulled in the draft. I just got, like, a Reverse Unit Energy. Um, but nothing else more than that. You know, Reverse Hippowdon. Got a Reverse Luxray. And a Weavile. Um, Gumshoes, like I said, was our uh, pre-release promo. But we were able to pull a little bit more later on. Um, but, sorry, these weren't in it. But what I ended up playing in the last one was, uh, that was actually from the first one, I started combining stuff, uh, was Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp. I only had that line. I didn't have any Riolus or Lucarios. Um, so I had that, a couple Spirit Tombs, and a Craniodos. That was my whole deck right there was those guys. Um, and I pulled like three Cynthias, so it wasn't that bad of being able to hit the 200 attack. The problem I had was uh, once once my guard chop went down, uh, I didn't have one ready to go on the next turn. So I ended up losing and not getting any prize packs out of that uh, out of that event, which sucks. Um, so I just kind of I guess miscalculated on like what was important. Um, on the bright note, I did end up uh, so I ended up getting the the gum shoes promo. 
from the the pre-release, and then I got the Heatran promo from the draft, which I believe is in here. Heatran promo should be in the front here, behind the Alolan Diglets. Um, yeah, so Heatran promo as well. So that left me with one promo to get, which was the Lucario one, and I ended up trading uh, trading for the Lucario one. So I finally got all the the promos from this, which is kind of nice. Um, and I'm actually starting to wonder if I should even buy the, uh, the theme decks because, you know, I got all the Garchomps, I got all the Empoleons I ever need, and it looks like I even got enough Magnezone to, in Heatrans, to make a Magnezone Heatran deck with a Dialga in it, so. Looks like I have, like, three decks to make already, just from the three pre-releases, which is kind of nice. Uh, we got a few Hollows here. Um, we got Hippowdon, which is kind of cool. Does 10 more damage for each uh, each star in your retreat cost. We got the uh, Intimidating Fang Luxray. We got that as a reverse rare, which is nice. We got a rare Hollow Weavile, which Evil Adomina Ad Adomination looks, sounds interesting. 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability for one Dark Energy. So Weavile is still proving itself to be a very versatile. We've got a Missing Clover. And stuff like that. Um, there's like nothing too interesting in that last pack. We got a bunch of Magnezone, Heatran, and I thought I drew. I was really. It was really hard. I was going to put both Magnezone and uh, Garchomp in the same deck, but it just is so much room it took up that I was going to be able to play like nine Metal Energies. And I thought that's that's not going to work out very well. I'm pretty definite that that will, uh, you know, bite me in the face if I have like nine, nine energy in a forty card deck. But it, it's uh, so I ended up playing, you know, fighting grass. I played grass because I drew a gardenia, and that healing is very good. So I'm starting to combine. Um, I had to play young goose, gum shoes, pip, prim plub. Um, and it did not work out as well as my first uh, attempt at Prim Club. So I went one and uh, two in the thing. The second game was super close. The guy knocked out my Shaman with his Empoleon. I came back and knocked out his Empoleon with my Empoleon. And then he came back and knocked out... Uh, and then I actually knocked out another thing with Empoleon. But then he came back with Garchomp and knocked out my Empoleon. And then... Um, I had the game in hand, I think. I had one prize left. He had one prize left. I had two Psychic Energies on my Dawn Wings, Necrozma, and a, I used the Sophocles to draw into the end of my deck. I had about 10 cards left. Um, two Psychic Energies in that 10 cards, and I drew no Psychic Energies. So I had six cards left at the end of it, two Psychic Energies, and did not was not able to play... Uh, Dawn Wings in order to take that second game. And then the third game, I literally got owned by an Electabuzz, which is embarrassing but also hilarious that Empoleon literally gets just owned by Electabuzz, which is <laughs> really funny. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share. I wanted to share that full Art Mars. I didn't win any prize packs in the draft, so that's pretty much the only pull besides the reverse unit energy. Um... But that is all the pre-release updates I have for you guys there. I got, you know, Dialga, Dawn Wings, Mars, and oh, did I, t and I showed you guys the other one too. I got a Glaceon. So pretty happy with this pre-release. A lot better than the last pre-release. So I went, I did better in the standings in the last pre-release, but that didn't mean anything because it was just everybody got three packs at the end. But I was happy with this. Got four hits, and I think that more than makes up for last week. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. There'll be normal videos all week long, except for there's going to be no nonchalant Nuzlocke. And this has been Dapper Jabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.